Assisting in today's production and pointing the way is well-known Lake Lanier guide, Jim Mathley. He directs Kim towards a floating marina, in particular, the adjacent break wall which flanks its outer perimeter. For it's at this time, this type of structure attracts schools of the lake's non-native forage species. The blueback herring are a species of bait fish that are now commonly found in southeastern lakes and reservoirs. They are not indigenous to these waters, however. They were an invasive species that have been introduced into places like Lake Lanier and other southeastern reservoirs in the late 1990s. Since that time, it has really changed the dynamic of the way these lakes have fished. The blueback herring are very pelagic. They are free roaming, open water sort of bait fish, and it really changes how these lakes fish as a result. There you go, oh. there you go. There you go, Brian. Looks like a good one, too. Yes, sir. Oh. There we go. Good job. Uh, Starting this off. Yes. On the Strike King Rage Swimmer. Rage Swimmer. You've got herring up and down here that are coming up and spawning along this little wall thing. I mean, look at it. We're, we're in 72 foot of water. Mm -hmm. and, and those, those fish will come up yep. in that deep of water. Isn't it right along these walls. I'm gonna go ahead and let this one go. Yeah, you got that. Good job. We were targeting these marina seawalls because this is the surface against which the blueback herring spawn. When they spawn, their egg sacs are actually sticky so they can adhere to vertical surfaces. Therefore, the bluebacks will spawn on places like marina seawalls, bridge pilings, in addition to other features around the lake like sandy saddles between islands, as well as blow-throughs and even rocky points. Well, there's definitely schools of bluebacks. Yeah, there's plenty of bait. The bait is very abundant. Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. oh, it's a decent one too, it looks like. Let me get the net. Oh. Uh, What's up? Yeah. That's a decent fish too. Yes, yeah, sir. Oh, there you go. There's a nice spot. <laughs> nice job. Now see, he ate it. He swallowed it. Swallowed it. Get it out of there. There we go. He did eat that one good. Now that's a good, solid, chunky Lake Lanier spot. Yes. You know, it's not a magnum, but it's just a good, solid tournament-sized fish. As you well know, it's customary on each episode for me to dive in for a bass eye view. I'm going down. So Kim, how deep are those boards going into the water? It looks about six foot, just like we anticipated. There's a people and there's a fish on it. Already seeing fish. But as you can see, this lip right here. You got these cables coming down. In the wall. Are you seeing any bluebacks? No, I'm not. They could all do with the timing of the day as well. I made this dive at high noon. The blueback spawning activity can be observed on the walls for the most part in the early AM hours. So it makes sense that a few hours after dawn is the prime window to take full advantage of the spotted bass feeding activity. I captured the blueback herring footage the following morning, but for now, I wanted to better understand how the spots relate to the structure. Yeah, they just hang pretty much right near the bottom of this lip. Not necessarily under inside there. The ones I'm seeing are at the bottom of the lip. Copy that. So they're just hanging underneath that board and not necessarily on the inside edge that we couldn't get to. They're just looking to ambush those bluebacks. They are at that lip level, that six foot down from what I see so far. 
So when we cast, it's good to let it go down just a little bit. And that's what I was doing. Oh, and there's some right there. Initially, it appeared that the spotted bass were hanging primarily below the wood edge and schooled on the outside. However, upon further inspection, as I penetrated up under the floating wall, I discovered they were pretty much positioned everywhere within the structure. From what we saw off the Aquaview camera, they get up under this stuff. There's a little school in this area right here. Funny how those little groups, little schools come up and park on this. Because they know where the bait is in the morning for sure. So are you noticing uh, those broken boards? Any spots hanging out right beside those uh, to ambush the bluebacks? Brian's intuition made perfect sense, as I did view some spots utilizing the open areas in the boards as a doorway. Yet from what I could see, it didn't appear to be a necessity to ambush their prey. The majority of the fish I observed simply swam under the wall. Although once I spooked the fish from under the structure, I did catch a glance of a fish or two peeking in from outside the entranceway, hoping to return to the security of the overhead canopy. You can see the algae that's growing. That's probably what the bluebacks are feeding on. Fact is, blueback herring feed primarily on zooplankton, small insects, small fish, and even the eggs of game fish. With that said, I did witness common carp grazing on the algae-coated wood, which was likely holding the eggs of blueback herring. This one was coughing up his lunch as he casually swam away, accompanied by a couple of spotted bass and even a striper. But what really surprised me is I didn't expect to see a walleye hanging on the vertical wall. Just an FYI, we've got some boat traffic and some waves. The waves rock the structure. The sports move. This last bit, I've seen more concentration of fish here. Not any giants or anything. This one's a good one. The keys a two pounder. You are at the end. There was a few fish right at the end here. We're kind of sitting in this area. It seems to be a school that keeps swimming back. This footage I'm getting out and all the story. Yeah, this is going to be some great footage. I'm going to turn around and go back the other way. This is something we haven't covered before. Oh, there's a fish there. Interesting. Yeah, it's very interesting to see that there are more fish here than I anticipated. And, and again, that's usually the case, but uh, fisherman's perception isn't always correct, and mine included, that's for sure. It's nice that you've seen all these fish. Yeah, every 20 feet I see a fish, or two, or three. Pretty impressive. We were dropping that aqua view. Every hole that we dropped it in, we saw a fish. I'm pretty much seeing what we caught. They're on that average size, and you might see a little bigger one. But I haven't seen any magnums.